Hi, I'm Dr. Huram Shokat Yousafzai, Hyperbaric Medical Consultant. Today's video is about the diagnostic tests which are developed for detecting the SARS coronavirus 2, abbreviated as SARS CoV 2. The SARS CoV 2 virus came in 2019 and 20 and it has created a pandemic all over the world. The SARS COV-1 virus came in the year 2002 and 3 and that's a virus which is similar 70% to the current virus but there are dissimilarities as well. So the today's diagnostic test I would be talking about are actually developed for SARS CoV-2. So let's begin. When a person is infected with coronavirus, the level of viruses in the blood increases, which is shown by the black line at the bottom. And in response to the viruses, the body produces in defense the antibodies. The first one to develop is the IgM antibodies shown by the blue line. And after the IgM antibodies, the IgG antibodies developed shown by the orange line. And the concentration of these antibodies is increasing in direct proportion to the number of the increased viruses. And that happens right in the beginning. And I will explain the process of this in the body by the next animated video that how it happens so when the virus enters the body its concentration starts increasing as the black line goes up so when it reaches its peak this is the time when the human body experiences the symptoms of the viral infection like of the corona and this is the time when the breathlessness fevers and chills and all the muscle aches and pains are happening the concentration of the viruses decreases in the second in the first week after seven days and after 14 days it's at the bottom and after the third week the 21 day it's almost negligible as the person has started healing. So the higher concentration time is also known as the infective period. So when the infective period starts, in response, the antibodies also start appearing. As mentioned earlier, the first one to appear is the IgM shown by the blue line in the infective period. As it rises up, its highest concentration and peak level is achieved after seven days. So this is the time when the serology test would be giving the positive results. So after the seven days, when the 14th day approaches, the IgM antibodies are half of their seven day period. And on the third week, on the 21st day, they are almost negligible in the blood. After IgM antibodies, the IgG antibodies represented by the orange line starts appearing with the appearance of virus. But its peak level is actually achieved not at the seventh day, but actually at the 14th day. So the highest level of IgG antibodies is at the 14th day and it remains at the higher level throughout even at the 21st day the third week. So in summary, the two types of the uh, changes in the body occurs are actually used for detection of the coronavirus. The first test used for detection of SARS-CoV-2 is called the PCR test, polymerase chain reaction test. 
This test actually detects the virus in the body and it's not about the antibodies, it's about the virus concentration. So the concentration of the virus when it increases, it is detected by this test. So it's a reliable test because it's related to the antigen. This test is actually done by taking swabs from the nose and the throat and then it's uh, iso they isolate the RNA of the coronavirus and amplify it and then use it for detection. The PCR test is actually a real-time PCR test also known as RT PCR test. So in real time it detects the RNA of the coronavirus. So the SARS-CoV-2 virus RNA is actually amplified or doubled to increase the sample size and then it is when it is double the size like the DNA it is detected for the det detection process the swab is taken either from the nose where the swab is inserted in the nose and then rotated to collect the secretions because the no nasal uh, area uh, nasopharyngeal area contains the highest concentration of the viruses. The other method is to collect it from the throat because the throat also contains the viruses and also the saliva which has more concentration of the virus. So when the sample is collected then it is uh, dipped in a solvent or solution and then taken to a machine called a PCR machine to analyze it. Since the danger of infection to the health workers, India has actually created a kiosk where a person stands inside of the kiosk, the health worker, to collect the samples and protect himself from the coronavirus. So the collected specimen is actually inserted inside a tiny container containing the solvent. These small bullet-like containers are actually inserted into a machine. The machine is called the PCR machine. In the machine, the sample is alternatively made hot and cold to, to isolate the RNA and then amplify it. And the, when the amplification process occurs, then it is detected because PCR method needs a bigger sample like the DNA. And since RNA is half of the DNA, it needs the amplification process through the PCR machines. The results are obtained in few hours and it's not as fast as the other test serology, but faster machines are being developed which can give the results in a quicker time. The second test is called the serology test. In the serology test, the detection of the antibodies takes place, the IgM and the IgG antibodies. So the first one to appear, as I told you before, is the IgM antibodies shown by the blue line. And then later on the IgG antibodies appear. So when both these antibodies are present and positive, the serology test will detect it. So let me show you how this test is done. And this is done by taking the sample of the blood. Serology test is about detection of the antibodies and the kit contains a lancet and a pipette and also swabs and cotton buds you know the person's hand is cleaned with the antiseptic solution and a drop of blood is obtained the drop of blood is actually uh, sucked into a pipette the pipette then empties the blood in a container containing the solvent and when the solution is mixed then again 
it is uh, sucked into a pipit and then the pipit is used to drop the blood into the strip so after the strip gets the drop of blood then it shows the result by giving three lines if you see three lines the test is positive if you see one line the test is negative the three lines are C for control group IgM for IgM antibodies and IgG for IgG antibodies so if IgG and IgM lines are missing the test is negative and only control line is seen then the test has done properly and it's negative but if no line is seen then the test kit is not correct or non-functional something is wrong with it the test serology test gave results in 15 minutes and it has been widely used in China and the other countries to test the people and since the antibodies levels are higher uh, after seven days then this test would be where uh, if done at the seventh day would be the best the right side is the positive test and on the left is the negative test with only C control lines and the positive one has three lines the control and IgM and IgG automated machines have also been developed to give uh, serology results and they give the concentration of IgM and IgG antibodies very quickly and now they have been widely utilized for mass testing and proving to be helpful in the corona pandemic the third test is isothermal nucleate amplification test this is a new test and it's recently been developed and it uses a similar technique to the PCR test that it amplifies the genome or the RNA of the coronavirus and after amplification it detects it but instead of making it uh, hot and cold alternatively an enzyme is used which amplifies the genome or the RNA this test is as claimed 90% effective and it's a fast test and it's developed by the Abbott Industries. So let me show you how it's done. Isothermal nucleic amplification test utilizes an enzyme to do the amplification of the RNA. So this, uh, it's able to be detected because the just like the PCR, uh, it's similar in function and it's developed by the Abbott and this kit is being used in the President House of uh, United States of America, whoever wants to visit the President Trump. And it's also a fast test and when the, uh, resu the results are obtained by the fluorescent markers, you know, on the paper and there are machines which reads the result and the Abbott industry claims that it's 90% effective although there have been some uh, tests which which say it's not that effective you know it's less than 90% but this test would be widely used in future I hope you liked my video and in order to encourage us please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive updates about the new videos and to encourage us. If you want to contact me regarding any information, please contact me on the social media apps scrolling down below and I would answer you very soon. So hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.